Hello everyone, my name is Griffin and today we are going to make this scene in Blender and this is going to be a beginner series. We are going to split it into four or five parts and today's episode we're just going to be modeling this bench which is the main important aspect of this whole scene and it's going to be an easy beginner friendly tutorial but I would suggest you go watch other uh, complete uh, beginner tutorial where you learn how to move around, uh, do basic loop cuts, move, extrude, scale and things like that are going to be very useful uh, to follow along with this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's start this tutorial. So what I have here is the basic cube. I haven't changed anything. I've just added this image uh, of the reference so that we can model uh, with reference it's, it's so much easier so before we start there are few add-ons that you might need uh, to turn on before we start so you got to go to preferences and search for mirror and you'll find the auto mirror uh, make sure it's, it's ticked and this is going to be useful uh, to model this and with few clicks you can make a lot of uh, different changes so you might want to have this enabled and uh, yeah we can start now so you, we, are, we are going to use the default cube for this one and uh I'm press g uh, and if you uh, ever want to follow along uh my screen i mean the the keys that i use are displayed here and uh yeah hope that will help last time i didn't do it so, uh, anyways so the first thing we're going to do is try and make this first plank and it's it's very simple uh you're going to go to edit mode so I talk scale on the Z. I press yes, Z and uh, yeah, we have a flat plane now. Now we want to scale it on the Y to make it longer, like so. We pretty much have the basic shape of the bench already. We're going to go to back to object mode, uh, bring it up like so. Now we're going to make the legs of this table, uh, which is pretty simple. It's just another cube as well i'm gonna press shift a add another cube and uh tab in the edit mode for this i'm gonna press one to go to the front facing view i'm gonna scale it like so oh i'm just gonna move this a bit higher so it kind of matches the scale of it so now we are in object mode i'm gonna go press z and go into wireframe mode uh to shape this even more easier I'm going to grab the top two vertices, press G and uh, pretty much place it here, uh, like so. I'm going to do the same here as well. I'm just going to move it uh, in place. And now we have this. Uh, let's go back to solid mode. And we have this, but it doesn't really uh, look like it's on the right place. So what we're going to do is now press 7 on a keyboard, go to wireframe and uh, Move it into position like so. We have one leg, so we don't really have to do another leg. Here's where the magic <laughs> happens. Uh, here's where things get so much easier. You're gonna click on the leg. Uh, we, we might as well rename it leg. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, it's just uh, rename it leg. So now we have this one leg. We're gonna not. We, we're not going to be modeling the rest of the leg. Here's where the bull, uh, here's where the automator tool helps out tremendously. We're gonna click on the two, uh, click on uh, our leg, press N and go to the edit tab and you'll find the automator. You're gonna click on X, press on automator and you already have the other leg. So we need this leg on the right side of the table as well. So it's, it's pretty simple, you don't have to do much. You go to your modifier uh, tab, modifier properties. And click on the y-axis as well but yeah, as you can see uh, nothing really happens because we haven't specified uh, which is going to be the center object so you're going to click on this mirror object use the eyedropper and click now <laughs> we pretty much have a, a table uh, which is almost ready and uh, it looks like these legs are pretty uh, slim and thin so what we can do is go back to edit mode select this and scale on the y-axis to make it thinner and as you can see it is mirrored so if you make changes on one of these you're going to make changes on the entire thing as well uh, this kind of looks a bit fat so i'm going to scale it on the z-axis again 
and move it down so yeah that looks nice um, now we might want to make uh, this part which is just another uh, just another cube what I'm gonna do is use the same cube we're gonna shift D to duplicate that and rotate X 90 like so we're gonna scale by the Z axis like so and move it into place like so uh, but yeah it, it isn't perfect we still need to make some changes we have to make this longer like so and so much more yeah shorter like that we're gonna do the same thing that we did uh, with legs we're gonna use the mirror modifier again we're gonna use this on the y-axis now and use the cube as a mirror or X I don't know Oh, yeah that works that works although it has become a bit thin I'm just gonna make it like so and uh, we have it on the reference uh, it ha does have a little dent on it you can't really see it on the image but what I'm gonna do is go back to the front uh, front facing go to the wireframe mode uh, and uh, just mode like so and it just looks better honestly now that we have this, we're going to make the bench, the sitting uh, part of it. Uh, and you don't really have to do much, just shift D on this and uh, move it like so. Scale it on the Z axis. And there you go, you, you, already, <laughs> you already have a picnic bench. Uh, we're going to move it a bit here so people can actually get inside and sit. So we have one bench already, we're going to make another one and uh, it's not really a problem because uh, we can just mirror this I'm gonna click on this add modifier and mirror modifier use a mirror object as the yeah thing and it works so now we have this uh, picnic bench but we can still add more details to make it look better what we are going to do now is tap back into in mode and make this wooden, uh, you know, wood planks. Make it like uh, look like wood planks. Uh, because we're not going to be actually using PBR textures for this. This is going to be like a low poly style. So what we're going to do is select all and uh, add an edge loop. We don't, you don't have to select all. That was my mistake. Uh, add the edge loops, control R to add edge loops and right click to put them on place. I'm going to do control B to bevel that and uh, no don't do that <laughs> uh, we're gonna select all these edge loops again and control B so now we can we don't need a lot uh, just a little bit of that and don't click anywhere else before you do anything else uh, press E S and Z to scale it on the Z axis uh, to get this in dense pretty much so now it looks more like a desk if you go to the render mirror render mode and uh, yeah you can already see how it's working it has this little bit detail a little bit of detail and it works beautifully and it looks nice we're gonna do the same for the sitting bench as well let's go back to all mode uh go to tab press tab go to air mode shift r and uh, control r we're gonna add just one here because it's pretty small and control b a small bevel E S oh E S and Z and there you go since we are mirrored we just have to make different changes on one thing and just mirrors on the other side so this is where I'm gonna end part one uh, if you want to go and watch part two make sure you stay you stay subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the bell hit the bell notification to receive the part two notification and uh, you can follow along and learn more on Blender. I also stream on Twitch. Here's my Twitch handle. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.